Hi there, it's DJB, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to strip a model horse of its custom paint job. So sometimes when we're customizing models we mess up and we want to restart. I've done this several times in commission work and regular customizing or even just old customs that I didn't feel were as technically sound as my new stuff, I have stripped the model down so that you can reprime and repaint. I use Easy Off Heavy Duty Oven Cleaner. You can buy it pretty much anywhere. I've seen it in grocery stores, drug stores, and department stores. Now this stuff is very, very potent and very toxic for both your lungs and your skin. You don't want to touch this and you don't want to breathe it in. So I usually do this process in my kitchen sink. It won't wreck your sink, it's made for appliances, but I would highly recommend using a respirator. I use the 3M medium size respirator with two fine particle filters on it. In the video you'll see me wearing just simple latex gloves, which do work, but I really prefer using the big yellow kitchen gloves that you can just get in any regular store. You want to shake the easy off before using, and then you just take that model that you no longer want the paint on and you're going to spray the easy off all over. So this stuff comes out really good and it will start to foam on the model. You want to feel through your gloves that the model is completely slimy in all the areas. You want to get it in the crevices and creases because those are going to be the parts that are hardest to remove paint from. Sometimes some paint will already start to come off. And then you're just going to take a Ziploc bag. I have also had success in using just a normal garbage bag. Some kind of plastic product that you can seal off. And so you're just going to file your singular model or all of your models into this plastic bag and seal it up. And then you're actually going to let it sit overnight. So 24 hours gives the best results. The longer you can let it sit, the better. I wouldn't let it go over a few days though. You really only need overnight or at least a day. And you will notice that when you go back to the models, the product will have activated and some of the paint will seem loose and detaching from the model. So then I find it works good to use some kind of a scrub brush. I've had success with just using these green scrubby brushes, a bristly brush and old toothbrushes. I wouldn't recommend using wire as it can wreck the plastic or resin in your model. Then you're going to want to rinse the model and just do this under some warm to hot water. Don't burn yourself, but keep it a little bit warm as if you're washing the dishes. You will notice right away that a lot of the paint will start to slough off. The crevices that you can't reach, that's where the toothbrush comes in. Depending on what products were used on the model, I find primer takes a lot of scrubbing to come off. This stuff should come off fairly easy, but if you've been scrubbing for a while then you're probably not going to get the remainder off so you can redo this process several times until you get the model to a consistency that you like. I found some models work a lot easier than others. How long you let it sit and how good of the coverage you got with the easy off in the beginning. Be careful with traditional models as they do have an air hole in the side of their mouth. I've heard that putting a drop of hot glue over the hole actually helps eliminate the ability for water to get inside of the model. But if you do get water inside, if you let the model sit for a few days and shake it every few hours, eventually all of the water will evaporate and you'll have no problems. In this Marabella custom, I got her stripped to this point and this was good enough for me. It's depending what you're doing with the custom, you may need to do some additional sanding for the final flakes of primer or the final flakes of paint, but generally speaking this method works really really well. Fear not, you can make mistakes, just strip your model and start again. All of the tools used in this video are in the description below. Hello. Please subscribe for weekly Wednesday uploads, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at DJB Studios. Check out my website and sign up to my mailing list to be the first to know about commissions, tutorials, and sales pieces. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. Thank you so much for watching and happy customizing.